Today's flight, this will be the first flight of the airplane. Last night we did a low speed taxi out to uh, 0.5 VS, so that's about 28 miles an hour. So half the stall speed of the airplane. So we're going to go from there out to 125 knots today airborne. So that's kind of cool. We're going to go up to the 3,000 feet of our bailout altitude, so I'm not going to assemble below 3,000 out of control without going for the door. But the plan was to climb to four, so that would be the top of the flight today, 4,000 feet. And we're looking for one to three Gs. We're going to clear your envelope out to 125 knots, three Gs. That's the goal for today. Uh, if I was to talk sort of globally in this sort of big group setting, I would say our job is to get the engine hot, get everything shook real good, and make sure we land before the things that are shaken loose fall off the airplane. That's what we're trying to do. Uh, besides that, obviously, basic stability, that kind of stuff. But the uh, stability stuff is relatively low risk on this flight. So we'll push the airplane out. Get in the airplane, I'll turn on my uh, camera suite. Uh, get in, get strapped in, get the airplane started, that's all good. Do some thumbs up, make sure everybody's happy with what's going on. Get the flaps up, come out of the chocks, out and down to the uh, uh, takeoff part of the runway there, right? Down a hold short. For runway 1-5, we'll do the mag check. Everything still looks good, we'll talk on the radio, everybody's happy, ready to go flying. And we'll come out on the runway, and we're gonna do first the high speed taxi. So, um, we're going to get the airplane up to stall speed with no intention of flying, but because we're close to stall speed, there's risk of flying. If we get airborne, we're just going to go. So we're going to treat it like a first flight, even though it's not. The goal is to get up to uh, stall speed, come down the runway, right? Check that the airplane has longitudinal handling, roll handling, and that obviously the brake stuff, directional stuff is all working and expected. It's accelerating like it should. It's braking like it should. We have a basic globally and airplane. And then uh, we'll taxi back and get ready to again. The second time will be intended to be the actual flight. The second time looks almost identical, except we just go fly, right? Right. So, uh, covered all the high speed taxi first takeoff. So, as soon as we get airborne, I'm going to put it at 100 knots, so just five knots faster than VY. The idea is not to thermally load the airplane any more than we have to. So, will we get 2,000 feet a minute? I don't know. Maybe close, right? So, we won't be trying to get 2,000. We're trying to unload a little bit of those cylinders cylinders get hot, we're done for the day and we don't get to get any of the high altitude points. So climbing at 100 knots out to uh, 4,000 feet, like I said, 1,000 feet above the altitude. The idea being if something happens, we've got 1,000 feet to play with before we need to give up on the airplane and sh save the pilot's hide. It's probably a cleaner way to say that I'll work on. So we'll get to uh, 4,000 feet. On that climb, I'm going to use 400 degrees CHT is my limit. I'm going to use uh, 245 on the oil and 60 PSI minimum. Uh, once we get to 4,000 feet, I'm going to push the nose down, let it accelerate out to 125 knots. Why 125 knots? That's VA, so uh, maneuvering speed for the airplane, which is my kind of rule of thumb as far as fast as I'm going to go without stick wraps. And once again, our goal today is not to do performance, like you said. Our goal is just to kind of clear a little heart of the envelope, and shake the airplane real good. So that's all we'll do. 125, everything looks good. The airplane handles like it's supposed to. We'll do a wind up turn out to 3Gs. So. 125, 3G wind up turn most likely to left right over the airport, okay. So we'll load the airplane up, put a little load on the spar, everything looks good, awesome. Start slowing down. I'm gonna slow down to 1.3 VS. So uh, stall speed is uh, 55 knots clean. I'm gonna st slow down to 1.3, so I have a 30% margin on stall speed. We'll slow down to that, which actually ends up being approach speed, but we'll be clean, make sure the airplane handles like it's supposed to. Okay, that's plenty of envelope, right? Late, let the nose come down just a little bit, throw the flaps out, and we'll uh, push over since we're going to be faster. We'll push out to maximum flap extended speed, 87 knots. And I'm going to slow down and get the same thing, 1.3 VSO, so that's 65 knots, which is our, basically where we're going to be for the landing. And since we're there, right where we would normally be going to touch down, right, we're sort of in that moment, we're going to check the handling qualities, everything looks good. We're going to do a simulated go around, so we'll stand the power up and make sure that it's going to go fly like we expect in the event that we have to go around on that first landing. And then we're pretty much done with the flight. So I'm gonna leave the flaps down so we don't have to cycle the flaps anymore. We don't expose ourselves to any more risks than we have to. I'm gonna come in, plan for an overhead approach, runway 1-5, left turns, and touch down. So that's my global plan. I think you've covered the emergencies pretty well. In the event of a lost comp, I'm just gonna do the card. Uh, I'm not gonna use uh, radios as a go-to-go item. Um, covered most of the rest of it. We talked about inside the fence, outside the fence. Uh, if there's anything weird happening, most likely I'm just going to land, but I'll try to talk you through it that's going on in case you have anything to add from the ground. Um, we talked frequencies sort of globally. Uh, I want to get a little more specific than that. So I'm going to be on 
123.0 Unicom as my primary. And if it gets clobbered, I'm going to go to button one. We'll call button one, one, two, three, four, five, or fingers. Uh, and then button two, so if uh, fingers is clobbered, we'll use that air to air VFR frequency 122.75. You guys want to scribble that down? Yeah, can you say that again, Harry? Absolutely. Yeah. Sometimes I get excited when I talk too fast, and you just tell me, say, Ellie, I don't know what you just said. And you can do that on the radio, too. What was the first frequency? So, Unicom, 1230. Okay. Button 1, 12345. And button 2, 12275. Do you have those programmed, pre programmed? I do not. So what I'm looking for there is we're going to treat it like a formation flight. So it's going to be flight, push button one. And now I'm looking for acknowledgement. You can go button one or ready to go one. Something like that so I know where you're going, right? What do you want? Uh, just ground? Or, uh, what do you want? Uh, so I would think that there's sort of a radio lead and then everybody else is trying to keep up. And I'm not going to worry about everybody else. So I assume that's whatever that yeah, radio is. I have another handheld. Everybody's happy to use it. But I, I'm not going to worry about yeah. getting the whole flight over, right? Oh. I'm just going to be two guys moving over to the next one. 